A quality classical violin is a beautiful instrument. Its craftsmanship complemented by the talent of expert musicians. But did you know that to make specialist strings you need an expert butcher and a lamb? That's right. The strings used to reproduce some of Mozart's finest compositions are made from lamb's guts. Plastic alternatives don't give the same acoustic resonance. So for that authentic original tone, only sheer guts will do. Every day throughout Europe, many thousands of lambs are slaughtered for food. But rather than waste the guts, which are not often found on menus, they're put to good use in the world of classical music. The best, most supple intestines for making strings come from lambs that are no more than four months old. But it isn't the guts themselves that are used. The string makers are trying to extract fibrous tissue called collagen. It's retrieved from the guts, then cleaned and salted. This kills off any bacteria that may be present. But they can't spend too long in here or the salt would dehydrate them. The excess salt is rinsed off, leaving a stringy pile that looks like spaghetti. The intestine fibers are then chemically treated. Hydrogen peroxide is added to bleach the fibers and fabric softener is used to help them to retain their natural elasticity. After another good rinsing, the fibrous tissue is ready to be sorted and graded. Sourced from young, supple sheep, this material should be top quality. But only the best of the batch will be deemed good enough to make strings for musical instruments. It takes training and experience to identify the quality fibers that will produce the best sound in a concert hall. When the best parts have been selected, a separating machine is used to split the fibers into smaller strands. Tiny cuts are made at the top of the fibrous tubes before they're fed over a piece of metal with a blade at the end. Bands of varying thickness are then cut from the collagen strips. Thicker bands will be used for the bigger instruments like the cello or the harp. The thinner bands will be reserved for the more delicate instruments such as the violin. But the fibers aren't ready to be played just yet. They must be combined first. The deeper the note, the thicker the string needs to be. An E, for example, is made up of five fibers. An A needs seven, and a D is made out of ten. The string maker winds the fibers together and attaches them to a knotted piece of ordinary string. These string loops can then be attached to a ringer, which spins the fibers together. This squeezes out any excess water and twists them tightly so they bond. The newly fashioned strings are then hung up and left to dry for four days. The string maker keeps a close eye on the drying process to ensure there are no kinks, warps or loose fibers. When they're done, he cuts the strings from their holders and takes them to be finished. Because each string is a combination of fibers, they're rough, and this would make playing very difficult. The next step is to smooth each string down. Using a laser guide that finds the thinnest part of each string, a grinder then reduces the whole length to this same uniform width, smoothing any rough edges as it goes. So what started out as a rough fibrous combination is now one long continuous piece of musical grade gut ready to be used on a classical violin. There's just one last thing to do. These fibers are still too long for a violin, so the final stage of the production process is to cut them down to the right length. However, no sophisticated equipment is needed here. A ruler and a pair of scissors are fine. The string maker will measure out 60 centimeters and cut each bundle down to size. 
All that remains is to pack the individual strings into their respective packets, ready for use by the most demanding musicians looking for that special acoustic quality that's only produced by natural gut. So, from a concerto to a kebab, many people owe thanks to the versatile young lamb.